In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew, chapter 8, verses 5 through to 11. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you that I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Glory to you. O oh God, come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to have faith in you. In this reading today, this is a subheading, it says, A paralyzed servant healed. We read how a centurion not of the Jewish faith, came to Jesus and said, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus' reply was, I'll come and heal him. The centurion then answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof but only speak a word, and my servant will be healed. Humility of this centurion. He wasn't even a Jew. No, he wasn't even a Jew. But he had faith that Jesus would do what he asked. Then he gave examples of how he is a person under authority and when his leaders or higher up in ranks call for him to do things, he does it. And then it gave the example of his own servants. He has authority. Jesus believed, He believed that Jesus also, he did not need to come to his house to heal but just to say the word. Being a Gentile, this centurion, Jesus marveled that he had such faith, not even to be found among the Jews. I say to you that many will come from the east and west, Jesus said, and sit down with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, in the kingdom of heaven. Not only the Jews will come to the kingdom of heaven, but also others, Gentiles, just like this centurion. We need to have that faith. We need the faith to know that what we ask for, we shall receive. In the Gospels, there are many examples of such things. Do you remember the woman with the flow of blood? If only I just touched the hem of his garment, 
I will be healed. Jesus' reply was, Daughter, your faith has made you well. During this Advent season, pray for an increase of faith in your lives. An increase of faith that you believe that all things are possible for him who believes. Pray constantly for this faith especially during this preparation season. <coughs> and give God the glory every day for you to be able to practice this faith in your lives. Glory to you, O God, and may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen. <laughs>